Hello, I'm Edward Lehner, and I'm with Captura Fund. Often I'm asked what my thesis is on crypto, and often my answer to such a question is it's complicated. That is, such a question often overlooks the situatedness of the space, the ways in which the cypherpunks and cryptography and centralized banking all are central concerns and central themes within this space. And if you focus simply on the alpha, you can miss what the larger issues are in cryptocurrency in general. That is, in the relatively revolutionary ideas, the idea of creating a decentralized store of value or how to transact permissionlessly financially. So in other words, understanding these issues can help a person understand the value proposition of the space. And in turn, once understanding these issues, there's an opportunity to understand the outside returns that could be generated within this asset class. So first, within this video series, I, in, before talking about specific exposure to the asset class, I simply want to talk about the asset class in general, in some of its founding. In other words, if we become too micro, too quickly, then the question just becomes a conversation about what are the coins? and you can miss the larger space uh, overall. And by understanding this asset class, I think you'll understand some of the uniqueness of this specific asset class. So this is a primer on the asset class, but rather than focusing on the history of Bitcoin, which we may do in the future, or the history of Ethereum, which we certainly plan on doing in the future, I wanna talk about the history of capital formation, both venture investing and cryptocurrency hedge funds as a way to understand this space. In exploring capital formation, I want to take a longer view. In other words, how did cryptocurrency investing initially start? How did capital development emerge? And what forms has it taken? And who were some of the early movers in this space? One reason why cryptocurrency is so fascinating is that it is the intersection of multiple disciplines in this rather grandiose macro vision of changing money. Changing what money is, how it works, it's a Herculean thought, and it takes a lot of action, and certainly a lot of profound action, to make a movement on something like money. So it certainly takes a full-fledged movement. And I'll argue in these series of videos that that's what cryptocurrency is attempting to be, a type of decentralized movement, and much in the Austrian school framework, trying to be money. Our goals in this series are relatively modest, but what we hope to do is frame the major epochs and provide clarity how investing has historically occurred in this space. So we have a number of short videos, one of which is early capital formation, and the dates are roughly from 2011 through 2013. The next video is the beginnings of a new asset class. This is roughly from 2013 through 2015. Then we cover the founding of Ethereum and the ICO boom. This is a rather larger chunk of time from roughly 2013 through 2017. Next, we want to talk about the funds and capital growth during the crypto winter, which spanned roughly two years plus from 2018 through 2020. And then I want to discuss the bull run of 2020 and beyond. And then we'll have a concluding video uh, on this series. So please join me in the next video, which will cover the early capital formation from roughly 2011 through 2013.